uh, hello uh, this is a part two video from my part one video showing you how to play lovely day by big star um, or alex chilton um, this is the demo version of the song as it came to be known stroke it noel so um this i've learnt this from youtube from the demo version that's on youtube uh, Alex Chilton's playing it on the demo with an acoustic 12 string by the sound of it. I'm using um, this Rickenbacker 12 string electric to try and simulate the sound and um, the guitar is going through a Roland micro cube just so you can hear it a bit better uh, and a capo is on the second fret. This is the tuning, that's standard tuning, so I'll just play each note. Okay, there's only about three chords in the whole song, um, and then a bit of alternate picking in the chorus which later on in the song Stroke It Noel is done by a violin section but uh, in this version it's just playing it on the 12th string so the song starts off with this A whatever it's called 6 something and I think he's actually playing this first string on the 3rd fret I'm, call it, I'm numbering the frets from the capo on this song so To, so that I just better point out what I'm pressing down there. It's uh, first string, third fret, second string, second fret, third string open, fourth string, second fret, fifth string open. Then just a normal D. So that bit leads you to the third chord, which is a G. So it's just a single note run on the bottom E string. Open, second, third fret. Okay, just do that bit again. And it repeats that again. Then I think he goes wrong a bit, but it's just um, a hammer on. It's a bit of a hammer on on the fifth string on the second fret, and he does a bit. I don't know. I don't think he he, he fluffs it a bit, but because it's a demo, it doesn't matter. So um, anyway, it leads to the chorus, the first chorus, which is just the same two chords as the start, which is D and the A, whatever it's called. Then it does that sort of suspended like that, and then you get to the twiddly bit, um, which is just based around a D and a G chord. So there's um, a descending notes um, alternating with this note there, which is the second string third fret. So you're playing a D, well I'm playing a partial D, so I'm actually not um, going to involve the first string now. So, so it's the alternating descend descending bit goes fourth string open second string third fret fifth string fourth fret second string again and I move that index finger across from that D now to the fifth string second fret 
second string again, then open, then second string. Okay, play that again. Next chord is G. Okay, that G descending bit is the alternating note that goes through is just uh, an open third string. And the descending notes go uh, fourth string open. Fifth string, fourth fret, fifth string, second fret, fifth string open, sixth string, second fret. All the time alternating with that third string open. So, which takes you that gives you back to the D. So it's a D with a, a F sharp bass note so I'll just do that G a bit again a few times okay so then you just combine the two you get the D and the G bit whole song. Uh, it's a very short song, not too tricky. The trickiest bit is the That's it. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.